days. As soon as I got my first stick, that was it. I was in every day, that was all I ever did. I was hooked, but it wasn't just for two minutes. If I could find a street game, you damn right I was in it. I need to get some grip paint, gotta get Hey, my Francis, stick. remember from this lesson, everything builds from our stance. Proper reflexion, effects, posture, balance, everything. Proper stance leads to being able to move balanced and keeping our hands out in front. These steps lead to higher chances of making first and secondary saves and easier visual attachment to the puck and making your moves more efficient. Here's so a bunch of takeaways this is the blade from our here, lesson. The, Hope you yeah. enjoy. Blade. When I'm back like this, yeah, that's what's in the video. my weight's back on the heel of my skate, right? That's what's the video. Okay. That's where we up end. Yeah. When I get too far forward, I get too much on my toes. And that's where we toe pick and stumble forward. So what we're trying to do is balance where our weight is onto the ball of the foot, which is like... So I'm here, like my, the, the heel is off. So heel speak. shouldn't come off, but just so it feels like it's gonna come off. Okay. So bend more in the knees and let your butt go back. And then if I go like this, there you go. Pretty wow. straight, right? That feels so different from what I'm doing. Now, where's the weight on your feet? On my... On my toes. Yeah, toes below the feet. Wow, I'm way lower than I'm not like. Yeah, well, the whole point is, wherever that puck is, say it's the one out of the blue line, right? Yeah. If you draw a line, it's gonna have a slight angle, right? The more we have outside of that, what we call a shooting triangle or shooting box, yeah. the less we have in that area to make a save. Mm -hmm. So if the puck's way out there, I wanna be low and everything's kinda below the crossbar. So now I got as much of my body in the frame of what that puck sees. Right. If it's like 10 feet, say it's here, right? That's its triangle to get to the crossbar. So if I'm here, I can literally be like this to that puck and everything's within that triangle, right? Right. You're on the top of the crease, your gloves and blocker up here. You're covering up top. Put your head on the ice now. Lie down on the ice. Where are my glove and blocker? Like outside the crossbar, right? Yeah, you're above. Yeah. Suddenly for the glove. There. Right? Okay, so what is the right thing? Is it supposed to be above or tighter? Down? Down. Oh. Why do I want to stick something outside of the frame of the net? Get it inside the frame of the net. Here. Okay, like you shoot low, high. Right? Now, if I let out a short rebound. Now shoot. And you can cut everything off here. Yeah. But if I got him too high up. If I got him back, back here, what do you see down there? You see a big hole under my arms, oh, right? Shit. If I can't, but now my gloves are way out in front. You're like back here, right? On the very fringe of your yeah. vision. So you make yeah. a save, it goes out of your vision. Shit. Out here, now it's in my vision, I make a save. Ah. Easy connection. Follow the rebound. Make a save, follow the rebound. Can't stop what we can't see. That's why we start with eyes, head. So now you get, get into the getting up and the recoveries. So now you see why we're doing eyes, head, stick. So that's why we're trying to get our stance low so that we're putting as much of our body inside the frame of the net as possible. Right. And then if we can balance that stance, now we can move with it. Eyes, head. Now stick, point the blade at this. So watch my blade. So I gotta, gotta I'm keeping it angled, it rotates. What happened? Shoulders rotate, and the glove, it's like it's got a string tied from here to here. So wherever this blocker goes, my glove's gonna go. Yeah. So we're gonna put the blade like that. Yeah. Bring it down a bit, and blocker there, and you're actually gonna rotate just a little there. So now, when I, you come to me, it goes eyes, head, now stick. See how your feet already turned now? Everything turned? You're now square to the puck. So when you shuffle, you end up like there. And that's where I'm shooting. So now stay there. I'm the puck here, eyes, head. Stick. See how everything rotates right away? It's effortless. Yeah, moving this way with the puck. You're pushing with this leg. So, again, eyes, head, this leg. Yeah. There you go. See how everything 
balances now. And we need to make sure we push with the proper leg. So when I want to rotate into a butterfly or something, I have the leg available to do it. When you do it proper. Close. So we're out to generate backwards momentum. Flares. Flares. And all we're doing is our skate blade rolls and we flick the toe. And the skate will come off the ice and it slides and lies down. It probably lies like this to be exact. But if this is my blade, I do a C cut, flick, let it go. Yeah, now push down. There you wow, go. That feels totally different. Yeah, but it stops from going like this, which is slow, to now we can force it down. Right? You can hear it. Yeah. And we need that Z cut for when we want to start butterfly sliding now. Because I want to go that way for a butterfly slide. Z cut starts it. Right? Pass goes to you. I want to get that shot that you're going to have. I can't sit here, shuffle, push, it's three steps, right? I want to gain my angle, seat cut down, right? With that seat cut, we gain a lot of things to rotate and get square so quick. Up. Lower in the butt and put your weight forward so it goes on the knees. There. Now you see how you fall automatically? Yeah. See how you straighten automatically? That's our going into the butterfly. Our stance is slightly straighter than that. So I didn't realize this until I watched the video. You're pulling your blocker up, which is pulling your stick in. It really shows up in s slow motion. Watch the direction of your blocker. Quit trying to take away so much of the top of the net. You're almost out of the frame of the net for where this shot is. And the puck's even going to your glove side, not your blocker side. From the side, I'm not blocking it to my knees. The glove and blocker are well out in front. Well, Look at this. Look yeah, I'm not doing that. For sure. I'm not doing that. Now, do I land on my stick? No. I go to reactive. My stick goes out farther. I go to block it. It goes back to reactive. Back to recovery. Everything stems from this stance. My stance is where everything stems from. Yeah. Now, get your regular stance, put your glove where you want it. Okay, now try and get it right to mine. Bring it down. And we're going to go. Yeah, wow. I'm going to throw it a little. Okay. Wow, that feels so good. Yeah, it's going to be a Now, if you can't get your stick flat, it's because you're not low enough away, but you can get your stick flat. Oh, okay. Alright, now go down. Oh. Oh. Yeah. You drifted with your glove during that time. Holy you went Christ. back to your muscle memory. This is why we pay attention to the muscles. Right? You point out, you can see the glove drift. Oh, down. Down lower. Are you where my stick is? Yeah. You can see the angle. There you go. Now get your glove into the frame of that puck. Is that where you think the puck is? It's actually lower. There you go. Yeah. It's amazing when you look at the video, you'll be like, holy crap, like half my body's out of the frame of the net. So, and then 
Most of the time when we're shooting the goalie, uh, it's, it's center of the club is where the room is. Yeah. Because they're always too hot. They're always like this and yeah. that holes and they're like, yeah. I'm yeah. Here. That's pretty decent. I'm going to show this back a little bit. Get lower in your butt. It's pretty Here's some key takeaways for you. Your stance needs better weight distribution onto the balls of your feet. This is done by getting your knees forward, your butt low, but maintaining good posture. You should feel it on the balls of your feet. Pay attention to that. Work on keeping both hands relaxed and out in front of your pads and bring the glove down a bit so it's within the frame of the net and that shot box. This will stop your double coverage. Work on your orders of movement. This is fundamental to all other movements that will come. This is the key to it all. Then work on footwork and placement of your feet. Push with the proper leg, stop with the proper leg. Placing your leg far enough in front when you're doing your standing up. Placing it towards the puck. This will aid in your recovery and your butterfly slides and staying square to the puck. Remember, lead with your stick. Eyes, head, stick, gloves. Fundamental pieces. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed the lesson. As always, thanks for tuning in to a Coach Johnny video. Hope you found it useful. Hope it helps explain a little things. Gives you the coaching that I never got. Enjoy these videos. Make use of them. Share them. Have a good time with it. Thanks for watching another Coach Johnny video. As soon as I got my first stick, that was it. I was in every day, that was all I ever did. I was hooked, but it wasn't just for two minutes. If I could find a street game, you damn right I was in it. I need to get some grip tape, gotta get my stick made. Maybe get some pads, play goal, make a sick save. No pads, and I'll mix them out of thick tape. Yeah, it was kind of gettable.